Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Esco Films. Today we're gonna be talking about mental illness. Please make sure to follow my clothing brand, Lone World Clothing, $20 tees all day. So today I'm gonna to be talking about um, one of the scariest mental illnesses, in my opinion. It's called depersonalization. It's also known as derealiz derealization. I can't even talk, but that's how it's called. That's what it's called. Basically, it's a mental illness where you feel like you're not there like you're out of your body like you're watching yourself from the top from like the i don't know i don't know how to explain it it's scary i'm telling you it's really scary it's basically like you're just watching over yourself like if you look at your hand like it's like you can't like right now i could see my hand you know but it's like i don't know it's really hard to explain and you don't want to you don't want to experience it i'm telling you you do not want to experience it because you literally feel like you are not here in this world like, you look at people and you're like, like, you just, you literally feel crazy. I'm telling you, you feel crazy. And I've experienced this multiple times. I remember when I used to smoke weed um, back in, like, junior year of high school. I would feel like that because I would get high and I would feel like that. I would get, like, dissociated. I don't know. It's hard, but it's hard to explain. But I wouldn't, I would feel like I'm not there, you know. And I always thought, like, oh, I'm just high. Like, I'm just high, you know. But it wasn't. It was that. It was it was that um, mental illness. And I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm diagnosed with it. I mean, I self-diagnosed myself because I knew I had it. But it's, it's not like a long-term thing. Um, thankfully, it's not. Because if it was, man, I would have I would have already killed myself. I'm telling you. Because it's it, it's not fun. Like, you feel, you can't even live. Like, you literally can't live. Like, you feel like you're not there in this world. You know, everybody else feels like they're here. You know, you're, you're like right now, I feel like I'm here. I mean, I know I'm here, obviously, you have that, you experience that, and you know you're there, but it's just, like, super scary. So, the last time I, oh, it's not the last time I had it, because sometimes I have it here and there, but the last time that it was, like, super serious, it was, it was very scary, and it, it was in March, it was, like, this time of last year, but around late March, I don't know exactly what day, it was around, like, March 20th or 19th, I don't know. It was around there. Basically, I was going through severe, severe anxiety and panic attacks. Severe, I'm telling you. I was like, that's all I would think about was panic attacks and anxiety. When's the next panic attack? This and that. I was just super, like, in my head. Like, super in my head this time last year. Um, I was just, I was going through it bad. So, basically, I was doing an interview with this rapper. And, it, like, literally during the interview, I was about to have a panic attack. And, thankfully, I didn't because that would have been embarrassing. But I didn't have one, and the next day I woke up, I was not there. I'm telling you, I was, I was like, I was not there. Like, I felt like, like, uh, it was super, it wasn't scary, because I was like, man, I felt this way before when I would be high on weed and stuff like that. I was like, it'll, it'll go away, like, tomorrow or, like, in two weeks, because I've, I've felt like this within, like, two weeks. But this last time, this time, it did not last two weeks. It literally lasted like two months, one or two months. I'm not, I'm not even playing. It's so, it sucks. Like I'm telling you, it sucks bad. And that's why I think it's like a super scary mental illness because you feel like you're not there. Like you just feel like you're crazy. Like you're not going to get out of this. Like this is how you're, you're staying forever. Um, and that's how I thought, man. And I was going through it bad. I was I was I was feeling like that for like five days and after that fifth day I could not do it no more I was like super depressed I was crying and I'm not gonna lie I was crying because I was like like how am I gonna live like this how the fuck am I gonna excuse my language how am I gonna live like this how am I gonna how am I gonna work how am I gonna do anything you know it feels like I'm not here so basically I went to the hospital and I told him you know I, I showed him like the the I googled it and I showed the the doctor, like I'm pretty sure I have this, and I was crying like in that in that room, like the doctor was there and I was crying and I didn't care, man. I was like whatever, so what? And I was literally because I was having suicidal thoughts. I swear because I was like I can't live like this. Like there's no way I'm living like this. So I was having. I told him I'm having suicidal thoughts. Like, like I'm planning on to hurt myself because I I can't do this no more. I need I need you guys to help me. So basically what happened was. I went to the, they, they kept me there for like the whole night. I, I was there the whole night. 
not the whole night because I left around like 12, but I checked in around like 1, 1 p.m. probably. And I was like so depressed, man, like super depressed. Like I was like, man, I cannot live like this. Um, basically what happened was they took me to mental health um, area, the mental health psych hold or whatever. And there was like crazy people there, man. There was, there was like a girl with schizophrenia. I, I talked about this in my last video. But yeah, there was crazy people. Like I'm telling you, there was like, I was literally in the section where people are crazy. And they gave me an Ativan, they fed me. Um, the Ativan kind of helped me. The, the Ativan helped me like to chill out, but I, I still felt like that. Like it didn't go away. Cause this doesn't just go away. I would wake up every single day praying like this goes away. Like I just want to feel normal again. And every day I, I would not wake up the same. I would wake up still feeling like that. And it was so like it was so irritating because I just couldn't do anything about it. Like it's in here, it's in my head. It's not like a broken arm and shit, you know. It's in my head, so I couldn't do anything about it. But just wait, like that's all you that's all I had to do was wait, and it went away by itself because I waited. But basically, I I got out of the hospital, called my cousin, and he told me, you know, I need to work out, I need to do this and that, I need to start getting healthy. So that same night, I got out of the hospital. I I, I went on a run, like right there at my house. I literally dedicated myself to working out i don't work out no more you know i got lazy but i at that during that time i was so dedicated to eating healthy and working out because honestly that really did help it lowered it down so much and if anybody has experienced this you know how scary it is it's scary man like it's scary and then there it, eventually it did go away like around probably like late april it went away but i got prescribed xanax at the hospital and i would take it here and there but it wouldn't go away. Like it would calm my anxiety down. So I don't think about it, but it wouldn't go away. Like I, I would still feel like that. So I ended up going away and I was like, so I started going to church, this and that. I was super thankful that it went away. Finally came back around May, like late May it came back. I felt like that again for like around a week, one or a week or two. I don't know exactly how long, but I felt like that again. But this time I knew what to do. You know, I knew I had to eat healthy. I knew I had to work out. I knew I had to just, Cause I mean, it's something that I, I kind of like, it was like, it was super hard for me at that time. You know, it's something that really affected me. Cause even to this day, I still feel like that sometimes for like an hour or two or like 30 minutes or like, sometimes I just wake up like confused. Like, like if I'm not there, but I know what to do now. I know it's not, I know I'm not crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not diagnosed with it. And if I am like, who cares? Like, it's not going to kill me. It's scary though. I'm telling you, if you, if you have ever felt like this, um, hit me up and tell me about it. Cause I'm telling you, it's super scary. Um, I mean, if you guys go through anxiety, panic attacks, depression, you know, you could hit me up, you know, whenever you want. Cause I, I went through that. I still go through it. You know, I still get anxiety every single day. I take medicine for it. I take Zoloft, but I still get anxiety every single day. It's not, it's, it's never going to go away. It's something that I have to deal with the rest of my life. And panic attacks are probably something that I have to deal with the rest of my life as well. But it's it's life, you know. We all, we all have our demons and we all have to get through it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I recorded this on my iPhone because I don't have my camera right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow my clothing brand. Check it out, guys. It's a cool clothing brand. Um, affordable, you know, because it's got to be affordable. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I know I haven't uploaded it, uploaded it in forever, but I'll be back consistently making videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.